After the previous trailer and various information leaks, fans have been begging Bioware for any new information on Mass Effect Andromeda. Luckily for us, EA Play just dropped a brand new trailer, and now, after we finished hyperventilating, we are here to explore it with you. My name is Tucker, and welcome to Mass Effect Follower. As the trailer starts with real-life footage of a rocket taking off, one could be forgiven for suggesting a pattern. The documentary-style narration picking up shortly afterward may only serve to further that suspicion, as various other real-life footage is shown of outer space. Then, we see a shot of a nebula that looks like it may be in-game, which is only confirmed as we finally get our first glimpse of Andromeda's answer to the Normandy, the Tempest. And judging by its looks, calling it the answer to the Normandy is fitting as it sports a very similar design with a few extra fins and flaps added for good measure. Based on the design, it seems a given that the ship is based off of the Normandy, both from a developer standpoint and in-game. As the Tempest flies by, we are then treated to a developer working on what looks to be concept art, followed by an in-game render of the same scene. If you take a good look at the render, you can see on the left side there's a Krogan, and on the right side it looks like there's a Solarian. Now we don't know if this means that the Solarian is a squad mate, or if this could be from a different scene entirely, but either way, it is pretty cool to see this species back in the game. As the narrator explains that Mass Effect is going further than ever before, the Tempest makes another appearance shooting by through space over a dusty looking planet with some sort of cyclone in the distance. After more shots of artists working their magic, we see a solitary character, likely our player character, walking on what appears to be the cyclone planet with some sort of floating structure in the distance. Next, we have our first glimpse of a wild beast, which slightly resembles a Yogg in terms of body structure, as it transitions from a simple render to full-on charging at our hero in what looks like actual gameplay. This transitions into a breathtaking shot of an alien valley, sporting a small manufactured structure with humanoid figures inside, while two giant creatures fly by in the background. We have no idea what those two giant creatures are, if they are hostile or not, but either way, I love the look of those two creatures. At this point, we get indisputable proof that the Asari will be present in Mass Effect Andromeda, as we are shown a close-up facial render of an Asari character smiling. This is followed by what looks like a final in-game shot of the same character showing off a few animations. The dark smear over her eyes suggests almost a tribal feel, though the armor we see poking up from the bottom may contradict that. Still, it could be an indication of what sort of designs we can expect to see. It is possible that this Asari is the female character shown in the previous trailer, though until we get confirmation, this is only speculation. More renders, more alien landscapes, characters running, a humanoid and what appears to be a Krogan on a dark, rocky planet with lightning in the distance, Bioware seemed to want to cram as much as possible into this short trailer. After a shot of the Tempest on a moon overlooking said moon's complementary planet, we see a motion capture session of the actor launching into the air before slamming down, followed by an in-game scene of the same attack animation. This transitions into a short but sweet view of our new Mako blasting forward away from the Tempest and then over some sandy dunes. The lack of bouncy physics shown here should be a boon to many players. We are then graced with a terrifying creature, glowing orange, attacking a humanoid, and possibly eating it, before delivering a blow with its giant fist. This may be the same creature shown before running towards the player, though it is unclear. Following a brief shot of some sort of structure bursting from the ground, we see a squad taking cover during a firefight. It appears to be two humanoids and a Krogan but we don't get much time to dwell on it as it transitions to a view of something resembling a shuttle, like the ones used by players to get down to planets in Mass Effect 2 and 3. We follow this with a grim scene showing a Krogan dropping a male human off of a ledge by his ankle. Sharp-eyed fans may notice this scene bears a striking resemblance to a tweeted image of a mocap session a while back by Ken Tan. We are then graced with some sweeping views of a fleet of ships orbiting a planet, including several ships heading towards a large ship that appears to be the one shown in the previous trailer. It is possible this is the main ship used to transport the crew from the Milky Way to Andromeda, and is used as a sort of base of operations. As we near the end of the trailer, a silhouette of a human face shows up laying down. She gasps and sits up. 
As the lights begin to come on, she appears to be in some sort of cryostasis chamber. Then the camera switches to a close-up, giving us a great view of her face. Caucasian with brown hair that is either short or has a ponytail. As her breathing begins to shallow, the scene turns black and she breathlessly says, we made it. Seems safe to say this scene depicts the crew first waking up after arriving in Andromeda. Whether or not this is the main character, or even if her name is actually Ryder, has yet to be confirmed however. After this, the Mass Effect Andromeda logo fades in and the trailer ends. We hope that you are as excited about this new trailer as we are. So what was your favorite part of the trailer? What are some of your theories? Let us know in the comments down below, and while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.